cocky OnlyFans girl gets humbled by men. Hey. What will you rate yourself today? I feel like I'm a good eight. Eight? Eight. Okay, you gotta be spin? humble. Gotta be humble. Damn, hey, bro. What will you rate this girl? Six and a half. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Thank you. It's not. It's not just about like uh, physical appearance. attraction. Appearance. Appearance. Right. Right. Appearance. I do gotta rate you no more than a six and a half. But if I do get to know you. And you rank that up, maybe I'll give you like a seven and a half to eight. Yeah. Or but besides okay. that, yeah. Fair enough. Feel, to be fair. I feel like ranking goes out of order when they then get to the point of like personality, you know? No. Like it's... It does matter. But it's weird how this whole ranking, ranking thing is a way of to get a conversation going, you know? What happened to like, hello? <laughs> You know, oh, you look very, like, nice today. Because social media has made everyone obsessed with how they look. Yeah. Yeah, she took it well, but in my opinion, you can't be higher than a six when you spin on command for random men on the street and you go out dressed like you're for the streets. I just wish boys would think. Like, just think for a second. <laughs> Shit, I'm always thinking. Thinking about that money. <laughs> Catch a nigga slipping at the light, make his heart drop. He cold. I'm Rhea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no one's thinking about her. Yeah. Donnie. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Fun fact about Donnie, he's a Marvel nerd. Are you into Marvel? You know what? No. Like, my brother watches them, but I just can't get into anime. Like, uh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, like, no. you can't not like Marvel. It's amazing. Did There's so many different what? Did she just say anime? See, my nerd side is going to kill that one. <laughs> Things, and it's not anime, it's just like a bunch of superheroes who try to save everybody. Yeah, I'll give it a chance, okay. maybe. <laughs> it's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Your person has to like Marvel films, right? Uh, the comics, the movies, it's just, uh, my, I have a dog named Marvel, so it's kind of a big deal to me. Um, you rejected me because I didn't like Marvel. Oh my god. See, one thing about Donnie is he knows what he wants and he don't care how good she looks. Yeah, exactly. Like with that witch nose, he still didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way that all the girls laugh, but all the guys are like, what? What's wrong with her? Mm. It's funny, isn't it? How each one of those girls probably know what the right answer should be, but mm. they find it absolutely ridiculous. Looks how nice she is, like this girl was. If she don't like Marvel, you're out of here. What? To be fair, Marvel now is trash. What Marvel yeah. used to be? Yeah. It's yeah, I, I'm full for what it used to be. Like the I comics, pretty much grew up with that. The old comics. Yeah. But. Disney have ruined Marvel. Mm. It was all in my god! Shoot twice. Why the fuck would you slap her? Why? 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 Yeah. <laughs> like, that's so mean. Weren't they meant to be friends? Yeah. I think there was genuine, like, embarrassment. Yeah. But she. Why? What? Are why they competing? Would, why would you, yeah, but also, why would you, like, respond to someone trying to hug you like that? Like, wouldn't it be, like, a shove first, not they, an embrace? They both went to hug him. <laughs> and then they both realised, and the short one was like, oh, you're trying to take my guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no, that's a, that's a bond right there. <laughs> yeah, that's equal rights. <laughs> so this donut said, me walking in this lame city knowing I'm the baddest here. This city is so boring. She proceeded to get destroyed in the comments. Someone said, we gotta stop worshipping these sixes. This city is fine, you're boring. You're just like every IG chick in the city. Nothing special. Only fans detected, opinion rejected. 
Get over yourself. Bodies, 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 bodies! I've had. Only fans detected, opinion rejected. No, that makes me think. Am I like a, a two? <laughs> no. Why would you think that? Well, she had quite a bum. So? But the way she was going about it, saying, oh, it's the greatest. No. Yeah. She goes from a five to minus one. Actually, no. Godzilla. Oh, cold. Godzilla's minus one, so no one could be there. <laughs> Three men tell me that I intimidate them. And I'm very independent. I get my own. I do what I got to do. What is it for a man to just step up and be a man and be masculine and date me and just Hold not on, get intimidated with what I got? Just because these niggas don't want you now is a man problem. No, 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 it's no, all no, no, men. No. Three niggas don't want you. Instead yeah, of you yeah, saying, well, what the fuck is wrong with me? Need no, to all niggas need to step up because three niggas didn't want you. Now, no. I'm a, uh, now respectfully, respectfully, I, I just have a problem with that. I run into men that are not men. They always have problems. They don't have a job. They don't have a business. So, 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 Trip Fontaine, Yo, please. You about to do some wild sh <laughs> Trip, you about to do some wild sh Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It gets dangerous when we chip away from men because they haven't accomplished what we think that they should accomplish. Yeah, every man you meet finds you intimidating, so you're definitely not the problem, it's all their fault. It's probably because you dress like Indiana Jones, and if you walk around with a whip and a bad attitude, I'm not surprised they're intimidating. Yeah, yo. Yeah, appearances, a tad everything. So she comes across guys that don't like her, mm. so it must be their fault, not hers. Yeah, I don't know why people generalise when it's just only a couple, you know? Mm. Like, it's not like you're going to say, oh, I've seen three gays, every of them is gay, you know? Well, if they're three gays, then they are gay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not making much sense <laughs> here. I've, uh, what? I've had a long day. Okay. <laughs> What's the key to a happy relationship? Well, Nothing. first, find a woman who can cook and clean. Okay. A woman that's an absolute animal in bed. Okay. And a woman with lots and lots of money. Then, make sure the three of them never meet. You naughty naughty. <laughs> Me replacing her lip gloss. Oh! <laughs> you just got it. <laughs> oh. So yeah, one that can do each of the tasks. Super glue, because I saw her talking to another guy that wasn't me. <laughs> um, he's a part of a fraternity. Do you see that one? That's brilliant. Perfect. <laughs> Mm. She'd be fuming if that was her favourite. <laughs> Put hair removal cream in her shampoo. Oh. She's there, so he was real known on campus, seen around Who's a lot. Which fraternity is that? Um, the Alphas. And so, um... I don't know if she's in the right or wrong, but after seeing that little Alpha sign they gave each other, he could have robbed or murdered someone and he's still going to win. And they all wanted to what? go to dinner tonight and I... That was part of like a gang thing. Well, I don't know, maybe. I don't know what it means. It's an alpha sign. But they did it to each other. Mm. If like, I saw that in the courtroom, I'd be like, just be like yeah, lost. can I get a new judge? Yeah. Like, it's like, can I have um different <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna go unless she was invited too. Right. Because if we all went to dinner and she didn't get invited, her feelings would be so hurt. Yeah, That's you genius. Don't want that. Yeah, I know. No I way. Oh, sorry, what? What was that? Uh none. He's a genius. I'm, just, I'm surprised she's that dumb. <laughs> Why are you surprised? She's obvious. She's like, he's she not probably thought he was just resting there. <clears throat> genius. Do is talk about money. That's all you do. Well, bitch, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> when men do. <laughs> It's like you dumbass. I needed to pay for whatever you fucking want. <laughs> like all you do is talk about money. No shit. <laughs> That's a perfect response. Mm. Silent. What are they really thinking about? Leave me alone, please leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone, please leave me alone. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. So you're saying men, masculine men, they act like that because it's their nature? I mean, a man is supposed to lead, isn't it? I mean, that's not leading. Bossing people around. His leadership is giving directions. Now, if your man says, hey, I'm hungry, go downstairs and fix me a sandwich. You look at your face. 
uh, clean out your register and, and go to register six. That's giving direction. But bossing. You can't make this shit up. No, but bossing. You I cannot like make through. this shit up. You need to tell me that the man that loves you, <laughs> protects for you, provides for you, upgraded your lifestyle, watch them badass kids of yours, teach your son how to play football, ask you to go get him something to eat, and you're going to look at him crazy. But that boss that is going to keep you in that hamster wheel of a job because you're going to work 40 hours a week for 40 years and retire broke. But as soon as that nigga asks you to do something, you do it. I don't understand that because a boss can tell a woman to get up out the bed and drive 30 minutes to the goddamn job and go clock them hours because somebody didn't show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as Tyrone want a goddamn ham sandwich and some pussy, they want to act funny. So this woman kept going on in the comments. She said, I don't want to make you a sandwich. I don't want to rub your back. Don't ask me for nothing. I'm either going to do it naturally without being asked or I'm not going to do it at all. Also, I don't feel like bossing and leading are the same thing. They are similar words with different connotations. Someone responded, if you want to be alone, just say that. We're not checking for women like you, so carry on. <laughs> Plus, like, what is so wrong with, like, the man just asking the woman for a sandwich? Mm. You know? Like, when your <clears throat> kids ask you to make a sandwich, you do it. Like, I'd rather have a steak, but, uh, yeah. Do you really trust me? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> but the guy did make a good point. Like, if the man's getting all the money and, like, paying all the bills and everything, so she doesn't have to work. Yeah. If she was working, she would get up early to go to work, drive 30 minutes, to work 40 hours a week. And then be and miserable. Then be told what to do by the boss all the time. Have stress. So she's fine getting told by that boss. But when she's at home, not having to go to work early, and then ask to make a sandwich. So, oh, Christ. <gasps> I think that's why people really don't like mixing like relationship and work together, you know? Like you most mean? people don't like mixing the two. Like most people at work don't want to talk about their like home life or well, home no. life doesn't really want to talk about work. Well, you know, I feel like work is separate. Yeah, like you if your husband is your boss then I would say there's I hate being a woman. <laughs> I wish I was a man. It's so much simpler. <laughs> You're fine. Don't worry. See how? <laughs> it's another fall, and I'm still single. You want to know why? Nobody fucking cares. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, <laughs> That fall. Come on, man. Probably wouldn't be single if you weren't blonde. Point of view, you tell your husband you're a strong independent woman when you first start dating. Now he makes you do strong independent women things. I hate it here. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah. It's like um in the UK they're talking about the conscription, the draft. A uh, woman had fought so long for equal stuff, right? Mm. To be equal in everything. <clears throat> now they have to be drafted. And now everything's just like up. men. Like in just before World War Two, it was only men. Women were conscripted in non-combat roles, like nursing, yeah, looking after the wounded. Uh, but now everyone's going. No one cares of your gender, even if you're the opposite one that believes it's the other. Does. Did I just hear a girl? Oh, a little like chat. Did I hear a girl? Dude. Why? Vote to kick. <laughs> she got what? kicked because they, they was like she's a girl. Just because she's a girl? They voted to kick her. I don't know why. What the hell? You're a victim! Oh. Mm. I'll tell you what, she's lucky she wasn't old enough to play Modern Warfare when I was a kid. Flashback. What are you? What are you? I wish Call of Duty lobbies were some of the most toxic places you could have conversations. Ever. I, the, the, I feel like the only reason those guys didn't want her being there was either because they thought maybe she'd be a, like too slow on the keys. Hmm. You know, like reaction time is just slower. Right. Yeah, you know, like maybe they thought about that, but also maybe because their ego was like, nah. 
<laughs> yeah, just in case they got beaten by a woman, they was like, no, I wouldn't have a nap. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to be white th- today. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, do you remember Call of Duty lobbies? Did you ever play it? I really tried. <clears throat> but do you remember? Right, I just played the zombie version. Oh, okay. Yeah. But like, when you're talking with a bunch of strangers, everyone would just be insulting each other. Yeah, my brother went through that. There was so much racist stuff. Yeah. We're not going to talk about it. If there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Misogyny check. Let your phone complete the sentence, women are. Hey, great job, everybody. Don't touch me, bitch! Mate, some of you might disagree, but I think any grown ass woman that obsesses or fans out over a singer or a celebrity usually needs Michael. Get some help. If you work out mm. because you want your body to look a certain way, you don't care about health, you are fat folks. Wait, so if you want your body to look a certain way, you're fat phobic? Yeah. What? I don't, There's I something don't wrong know. with society these days. Yeah. Like, like, now that being healthy is apparently a horrible look. I think it's just a more laziest excuse. It is. Yeah. yeah. Being fat and overweight, well, that's the same thing. Duh. It's not healthy. It's mm. going to give you heart disease later in life. Higher chance of cancer, your lungs will give out, your organs can't handle your body, and the weight in your legs. Socially, you won't want to be hanging around with people very often, and you'll probably lose your job quicker than you think. Well, because you're fat. Well, yeah, you won't be motivated to go very often, would you? It depends on, if you're significantly large, then yeah. Yeah. Those are empanadas. Don't fall for a voice. That's how they trap you. <laughs> There's a difference between being brave and being stupid. R.I.P. to that man, anyway. When you're listening to a man. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's doing the folding, and that must have taken quite a while. <laughs> and yeah. then he does that. Oh. Do you know she's make him fold it back up now? Mm. and he pauses count to 30 and he'll likely keep going if you interrupt him but you'll never hear what he truly has to say well no fucking shit someone said breaking news women learns that if she stops talking she can hear other people's thoughts men what yeah yeah so just because you talk louder than the person doesn't make you right i'm constantly <laughs> I'm looking like this. Bro, these posts would be so mad because y'all not gonna like it if we ask you the same question. Like, check it out. Ladies, what is stopping y'all from looking like this, huh? <laughs> what is stopping y'all from being an eldritch entity, okay? If y'all cannot manifest yourself into a horror beyond human comprehension, then you should ask me where my six pack at. It's just not fair. Don't stress. If she expects her man to be a 10, but she's a free. She belongs to the streets. Yeah, what's to stop you from looking like that creature? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I find it incredibly rude. 